And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you an Amber's effect. This is one way to do it. There are many other versions, many other ways. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to make more of these in the future. But let's go over this first. You just want to have a simple Amber's effect. Use the text tool. Let me give that a black color and I make it a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to create a new layer. Let me just call that, I don't know, Amber's feather or something. It's important that it's transparent. And it needs to be on top of your text layer right here. Right click on your text layer, then alpha to selection to select your text. Then select and feather it out a little bit. The size, it depends on the size that you've got. Let me use like 25 pixels. So the bigger the text is, the bigger you can make this feather. Then switch to the new layer, the transparent one. Make sure you've got black and white selected and white is a foreground color. Activate the bucket fill tool and left click on your text. Go to select none. This is what you should have now. So there's this white text on top. And we've got the black one that we can see, that we can still see thanks to the feathering. Make sure you've got the top layer active. Then go to filters, distorts and ambers. And if you activate the preview, you can already see this is what we wanted to have. The azimuth, it adjusts the angle. You can use the circle right next to it as well. When it comes to elevation, you want to use something like in the first or the last third, but not in center. You can see that right here, when you put it in center, it's not an ambus effect anymore, or at least it doesn't look like one anymore. And the depth, you don't want to go too deep, but everything else is fine. I'll stick to a low value, like 8 or something, and then just confirm it. You can merge these two layers if you select the top one and click on this icon down here. And now I've got your Amber's text on a single layer. As I've said, this is one way to create this Amber's effect in GIMP. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make more of them in the future. But I hope that this one was already helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.